Hello and welcome back to part two of my playthrough of Warfighter uh, World War II by DVG Games using the Shaw ex uh, Invasion expansion. We left it at the end of the first Hostiles turn. We had our uh, soldiers moving from the landing craft off the mission card into the choppy surf and their mission is to get to this objective, uh, Mike Green's sector. And the only casualty we had, if you can call it a casualty at the moment, is that uh, Martin, number six, was suppressed by the dreaded uh, heavy machine gun defence. Just one thing before we start. Apologies if it looks a bit dark and dingy and different colours. I'm having to film this second part when the sun's gone down, so uh, hope it works. Right. First thing we do then for the uh, next turn, it's the soldier's turn, is to remove suppressions, they haven't got any, and advance the timer. Now we start the next turn, we reset all the actions. And I think our first thing is maybe for our scoped rifleman, Pelletier, to... Um, Maybe have a go at these guys, because these are the only ones causing problems at the moment. As I said before, all the rest are only going to be attacking us when we get to the hostile beach. But this one can attack 0 to 3, so it can go all the way along here. It's targeting, as I say, Martin, who was suppressed. Martin's still got his suppression on, I've got to take it off, but I'm using the sergeant's skill to remove that, so it doesn't affect his actions, and we're ready to go. So, number four is going to have a go at these guys. Now the problem with this um, scenario is that, as I said, they've got very high covers. So the chances are we're not going to get through the cover, especially with this thing in play, which adds plus one to their cover. The least we can do, or the most we can do rather, is to suppress so at least we can start moving our um, guys up. So he's going to have a go. That's got a cover of seven, which becomes a cover of eight because of this, and goes back to a seven because of the penetration of the Mark I scoped rifle. He needs from that distance a seven, which becomes a six because of the rifleman skill. So it's a six and a seven. Well, he's not going to get the seven, but he might get the six on the hit dice on the um, D10. Let's have a go. Six. He does indeed get a six, so that's a suppression. That's something. We're off. Now, to do it again, he has to... Well, I have to discard a card. So... I... Oops. We'll fall in over. That's it. I'm going to play this, uh, get rid of this advance card because you don't need it now because I think the worst is over. We can get into that without any trouble, I think. So that's my discard. He's having another go. We need another six to see if we can get another suppression. Five. No. It's a miss. So that's Pelletier's go finished. Number five. He's being targeted. Number two, he's being targeted as well. But number two is going to have a go with auto, which is three dice. Again, it's seven, eight, but penetration seven. So he's not going to get through the cover, but again, he might suppress some of these so we can get going. So at that distance, though, he needs a 9, but he does have the marksman skill, which knocks it back to an 8. So on auto, we need an 8 or higher, but there is a high chance now of him putting his entire magazine into that and having to reload. Let's, let's see. 8. That's the one that counts. The other 4, 5 doesn't affect the reload. We've got a suppression. I think we'll do that again on auto. Take a chance. 
it has to reload. It's the bane of the machine gunner, the reload. So, eights. Seven, seven, three. No, it's a miss. One suppression on them. Who else? Well, no, number six, if he moves in, will be targeted by those. Number, number one isn't being targeted, so he's moving in. And he's going to have a go at these grenadiers, because if he can get a explosion hit on them, that'll blow the, the rest of Kingdom Come and they'll be out of the way. So he's going to use a rifle grenade. We use four dice, four D10s and a D6. Now this has a penetration of one, so it's a long shot because it's a cover of six. It goes up to seven, but the penetration knocks it back down to six. So he's got to throw eights and a six for the cover. One does not get through, and the rest miss. One, two, three, and a five. That was awful. Will he do it again? Or will he have, do you think, better chance against these? He's going to try with these. This is only a cover of five, cover of six, cover of five. So he's going to use up his grenade and do it again. We only need a cover, well only, only need a cover of five and eight. So let's try. Three doesn't get through, but one, two suppressions, and the other two don't count. The other two twos don't count. So that's two suppressions. And that's his turn. Over. Right, so we've got some suppressions at least, so that should have been on there. Let's move that out of the way. Number three might want to stay there. Who else we got? Number five here is still. I'll tell you what, with a scream, Tremblay runs up the hostile beach. And he is getting a rocket onto the people that are targeting him. We only use two for the Piet rocket launcher, but it has a cover of five, which is six. But this has a penetration of four, so the cover goes down to two. But he needs eights on the to hit die. So two. There's a good chance to get some suppressions. Five gets through the cover, a ten hits, and a five suppresses. So one kill, one suppress. Well done, Tremblay, you mad thing. Number six. Hmm. Number four staying there. Number two's had his go. Number six is holding back just for a moment. Number three might as well just move in. Nobody's targeting him at the moment. It's just these and they're targeting him. They can't reach. So that's okay. I think after number six, everybody's had a go. So it's now the hostiles turn. These are targeting number six, but in the two to one column, he has a Cover of two, Martin. Let's see, a medic may need to go back. Oh, one does not get through the cover. Eight would be a hit, I believe. No, it'd be a miss. So he's not even suppressed. Wonderful, well done. This, one, two, can't attack. This, one, two, can't attack. These can't attack. These. Attacking number five, but in the whoop, in the one column, there's only one of them able to fire. So, Tremblay has two cover. Let's see what happens. One does not get through. That was a damaging hit you did, Tremblay, and a seven is a miss. Crikey, we're lucky. 
that's all they can do. Suppressions then come off. Got some work to do here. And we advance the timer. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what I keep forgetting to do is to take my cards. I didn't take them last time. So I'll say that was my own fault, but I'm going to take them now, believe me. One, two, three. Do not forget to take your cards if you have this combat experience. Suppress, flanking attack, and ready. That's discard and draw. I don't think we'll need that. That'll be handy for the Mark 1 bolt actions. Discard, suppress. Discard 1 ammo. I think we can get rid of that. Flanking attack. I think we've already got one of those. So we may well... Get rid of one of them. I tell you what, if we upgun this and discard two cards, remove and then immediately perform an attack without spending actions. So I'm going to use that for Mad Dog Tremblay, who's screaming, or let's set, reset the actions first, screaming and shouting is going to rush headlong into the objectives. The other soldiers are trying to hold him back, but no. The old battle rage has got him. So we've got to discard two. So there's our two. That means we can move in. That disappears. And we can now perform an attack without spending any actions. So he's going to use a rocket on the people attacking him. That's two dice. They are now cover two, but because of the penetration four, that goes below zero, so they have no cover to worry about. We don't need to throw the D6. We just need a five now to get a hit. Eight and a two, that's one more kill. And the other one is suppressed. So they've taken care of. That's an action, and his last rocket, if we can use it to get a hit on these, these blow up. We must use an explosive attack. So, again, at range zero, cover two, but because of the penetration four, it's zero, in effect. So, fives again, come on. Eight and a four, we get one kill. That's enough to blow that up because it was an explosive attack. Wonderful. So you get uh, your experience point back that I didn't spend. Yeah, there we go. And they are gone. The grenadiers blown to smithereens. That goes back in a pot. And we'll move those down. Tremblay has had his actions. Well, our player soldier runs after Tremblay <laughs> uses an action. Uh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Not yet, because he's still got a rifle grenade and he can't use it in here, so he's going to use that as an action. And he's going to target the heavy guys. No, he's not. He's going to target these guys because this is seven. He's going to try and get some kills here. So this is just five now. We've lost the uh, improved positions. Five, but there is a a penetration of one, so that becomes a four. We use four dice for the hits, and we need eights and a four. Two doesn't get through. Eight and a ten are two suppressions. So they're out of action for the moment. And number six can move up. Well, no, not really. We've got to get rid of these swines. But they're out of action. For his last, oh no, second from last, he's got a couple left. He's moving in, following Tremblay, and his last action is he's using his trusty Mark I to have a go at these guys. Because if we can get at least one suppression, the two wounds disappears. So Still seven, which becomes a six because of the mark one. No, he's not what I'm talking about. He's actually in the objective now, so it becomes three. 
which becomes a two. Two and a six because of marksman. Two and a six. Six gets through. Seven is a kill. We're on our way, boys. That's his goes. Number four is having a go. He's stuck back here. He is going to have a go, if he can, at these as well. See if he can suppress them even more. So, he needs a six because of rifleman and a six because of penetration. Now that thing's gone, it makes a difference. Two sixes. Five and a four, it's a miss. Now, have we got anything we need to get rid of? I think we're going to get rid of walk it off. And he is going to have another go. Six and a six. Eight. It's a suppression. The four didn't get through the cover, but it's another suppression. He's finished. Martin's coming up. He's, he's moving up. They can't uh, attack him for now. Number two. He's going to try and suppress these guys at least so he can move up. Because you don't want this, uh, this plus one thing. So, auto. Three dice. Hasn't deployed again. He hasn't deployed his uh, bipod. So, we need nines. But it's an eight because of marksman. Eight and a six because of penetration. Eight and sixes. Nothing. Five, seven, six, five. At least it wasn't any reload. He's going to try that again. If not, the boys will try and sort them out next go if they can. So it's eight and six. Come on, Clark. Oh, no, three, but a nine will cause a suppression. But the bane, as I say, of the machine gunner is he's thrown a two, which is the reload value of the Bren, and so next turn he'll use one of his actions to reload, but he's got a suppression at least. Number three is going to move in just to join the boys in case his uh, skills are required. I think that is everything. Car uh, Martin can't fire because he's only got a, a zero range weapon. Hostiles turn. Unfortunately now we're in here. It's reinforcements. Zero to one. You can see that it's a two. No good. That's lucky. Suppression's off. Move the timer forward. Four turns left. Reset the actions. We're ready to go. Three cards are remembered. One, two, three. I've got this mortar attack. I forgot about that. Infiltrate. No, that's about no camouflage. Advance. No, these can be got rid of. What I'm doing then is I'm playing mortar support. Once each soldier turn, attack a hostile card. No experience points for it. I'm not too worried about that. But it is a retain of four. And I think what we got, we got two, four, five, and another four there. So we can put it down again at the end of the turn. To hit is seven. Penetration two. Explosion six. Dice. Lovely. And I think we're going to go after... Mm. Yeah, because they're going to attack him again. They're going to attack. We'll try and get rid of those. Let's get try and get rid of these nasty. They've been bothering us all, all day. Six. So, now, I'm assuming because number one is calling it in with exact coordinates, we're using the cover three, not the cover seven. Let me know if I'm wrong, but that's how I read it. He calls it in. It's an exact 
um, sort of attack. So he calls it in. Oh, before we do though, I have to get rid of four cards. One, two, three. Oh, four. So that's how I'm calling it. So they've got a cover of three, which becomes a cover of one because of the penetration two. We need sevens to hit and a one for the cover, which we're going to get. Three gets through the cover. Seven, ten, seven is enough. Well, two of them were enough. They're dead. We don't get any experience for it, unfortunately. But that would be daft, wouldn't it? Because you could just keep paying for it with the experience points. I assume that's the reasons. Right. I'm going to pay those now so I don't forget. I know we do it at the end, but I'm going to pay it now so it's done. White paid for that. That's ready for next turn. Clark uses an action to reload. So he's ready for one more. And let's see what we can do close up before we get the uh, long range rifleman. Tremblay, Mad Tremblay, is rushing in with his stem gun. He's now got spray, so that's three dice that count. And he's going for the guys here, number two, who's a, a target here, number two. They've got a cover of two. He doesn't have any penetration because he has, to, he has no uh, penetration with the stand gun. Penetration of two, and he needs an eight. No, no two. That's reload. So what is it? Two and eight. Two, three gets through the cover. There's an eight. There's a ten. And uh, <clears throat> yes, well, let's deal with that first. That's two kills. He gets an experience point, so we turn that over. And two kills. Eliminates those. It's safe for Clark to move in now. It's getting edge seat stuff. Number two goes back in there. Right, they're gone. But he's thrown a one, which is below his reload value two. So he is using his last action to reload his gun and Throw the empty one away. So he's finished. At long last, Martin, the man who's been targeted in all day, moves in and he's having a go. He's having a go at. Hmm. Yeah, the ones that are attacking him, I suppose. Range cover two at this range. And he needs to get a seven. Seven and a two. Come on, Martin. You wait long enough. Five and an eight. It's a it's a kill. Well done. So he's finished, but he's killed one of his uh, adversaries. Oh, yes. He's uh, reloaded, didn't he? So, what's he going to do? He's just going to move in for now. So he's a bit closer to the action. I'll tell you what, our old medic is going to have a go. He hasn't been doing much, apart from looking after the men, he's having a go now. So he's firing at, he might as well fire at these, see if he can suppress at least and make them useless for next turn. Cover two, but he has the Mark I rifle. Apologies if I say the M1. It's so playing the Americans so often, but it's the Mark One for Brits and Commonwealth. So the Mark One knocks that two down to one for cover, and he needs a seven. Seven and a one. Come on, Wilson. Seven and a one gets exactly what he needs. What's going on? This game is bonkers. He gets an experience point. You can see why I love this game. The brave Canadians, Juno Beach. Ah, oh. we only need two kills. We've got a mortar attack for next turn. We only need two kills. White hasn't had a go yet. This is next turn. We've used it, haven't we? White is having a go with his Mark One. He needs. A one because of penetration on the cover. 
and a six because of the marksman. One and a six. We've still got our long range guy. One and a six. One gets through, four doesn't do anything. We can't suppress, that's their lot. And again, one and a six. Five and a one, would you Adam and Eve it? He's gone and emptied the whole lot. His reload value is one. He's using his last action to reload and he can't do anything till next turn. He's out. It's down to you, Pelletier. He takes aim, looks down his scope. He needs a six because of a rifleman and he's gonna upgun it. So he needs a five and a four because of penetration. Five and a four. He holds his breath, squeezes the trigger. Four gets through the cover. Six is a kill. In the excitement, let me check that. It was a seven, it was a six, it was a five because he's upgunned it. It's a kill, four, yes. He's gonna do it again and I'm pretty sure you have to pay the rifleman skill again. I'm pretty sure you do, unless somebody says no, if it's on the same target, but I'm saying I'm paying, so he's paying again because it's not much use. Five. And a four. The last shot of our turn by our marksman. Five and a four. Hold your breath. Pelletier and squeeze that trigger. Oh, two and a five. He does a hit and it's a suppress, but we don't need it. It ricochets off a rock. That's it. That's there. That's our go gone. Everybody's had a go. It's now the hostiles. Reinforcements. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's a two! That's no good, and I did shuffle these, honest. A two, it's too much. So, a suppress comes off. Timer goes forward. We reset. White tells his men just to take cover and take five because he gets the radio out. He's calling in the mortars. It's six dice. We only need one kill. Six. We need a seven and we need no cover at all. Cover two, penetration two. We can remove that D6. We just need one seven. He calls it in. He hears the whistles of the mortars overhead and gets a 10 and another 10 and a nine. Kaboom goes the garrison. It explodes into pieces. The men are dodging bits of concrete. We've done it. The brave Canadians have completed their mission, got to the objective, established the beachhead for the rest of the boys. What a game, what a game. We did it. We did it. So, there we go. An exciting finish. Bear in mind, it doesn't always end like that. I was lucky, as I said, right at the beginning that the, 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 the hostiles we picked were, uh, well, it could have been much worse. But even so, nobody got wounded either, which is great. A complete and utter success for White. So, hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Uh, if you're thinking um, about buying this game, I hope you can see that um, for somebody that's quite new, into this sort of thing. This is a very accessible game and, and very fun and exciting. Um, I don't know what I'll be doing next time. I haven't got many games, so but I'll, I've got a couple that I want to, to show and uh, show you how, how good they are. So once again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you feel like it, please subscribe, um, push the bell, 
um, like, it all helps. Comment if you wish, if I've made mistakes, um, and I probably did, uh, just let me know gently. And uh, next time I play it, I can play it a bit better. But that's the beauty of solo games. I know I'm doing it for you guys, so my mistakes are for all to see. But when you're playing on your own, if you make a mistake, hey, doesn't matter. Just enjoy yourself. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was Warfighter World War II by DVG Games using the Shore Invasions expansion and the brave Canadians assaulting Juno Beach in June 1944. Thanks so much for watching and then see you next time. Goodbye.